Hello Gemini, welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Okay, let's see what we've got for you. moon and then we've got grand trine blessings for your person which is nice okay let's try again black moon lilith for the situation uh, seventh house so relationship focus Solar eclipse. Okay, so some sort of change or shift coming in for you. This will be later on, but let's see um, what comes up for that. The um, bottom of the astrological deck is North Node, Life's Purpose. So this is destiny, it's fate, um, it's part of your your path forward um, into the future. So something important coming up, whether it's to do with the solar eclipse or whether the relationship is tied to that, I feel it probably is. Um, and um, this can be soul partners coming in or soul people, you know, soul tribe members coming in for you as well. So let's see. Uh, we've got Bust, Mary Magdalene. Ishtar, Boundaries, Mawu, so you need to ground yourselves in your relationship. Lakshmi, okay, so this is a good change that's coming in for you, some sort of rearrangement. Bottom of the goddess deck is Mother Mary. Uh, expect a miracle. All right, let's get a moonology card. Oh, we've got two coming out. We've got be bold and make the first move. And then we've got nothing will come of the situation, void of course moon. So you may be worrying unnecessarily about something. Bottom of the deck is have faith in your dreams. Okay. So all of these are going to come in. Let's just see where they come in. Destiny card. Sincerity, okay. Okay, so let's start here. So for you, <clears throat> we've got Bust Independent and we've got Moon Soul. So this is saying that um, um, it depends. This is feminine energy, the moon, uh, you know, the cycles of the moon. Um, and it can sometimes represent feminine figures or female figures or tapping into feminine wisdom uh, or feminine issues like bodily issues, uh, cycles and so on. Um, it can also indicate uh, pregnancy or birth, things like that. So you may be in the situation. It depends on your on your situation, where you are in your relationship. So take that as it resonates. Um, or you may be, um, you know, going through different cycle changes within your life or within your body or just riding the cycles within your relationship. This is another aspect. But what it is saying is bust independent. Um, your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. So 
even if you have been in a relationship um, whether you're just going into it um, obviously this is important and to bear in mind but it can also be even if you've been in a relationship for some time you may be married you may have children whatever the situation is it's saying that you need to maintain some kind of independence so now this can be across the board this can be um, with regards to your ownership so you have your own car your own properties your own investments your own financial um, portfolio whatever it may be but it can also be um, simply independence of thought and independence of time so this can be about enjoying time for yourself uh, you know for your own hobbies and interests and so on but it can also be to do with your friendships you know time that you, you know time that you put aside for your friends your time to enjoy yourself uh, self-care is important nurturing diet, health and well-being, all of these things come in with the moon. Um, but your moon is also your, about your habits, it's about your moods uh, and all of these um, aspects come in. So to keep, make sure that you stay balanced because the moon can easily get out of balance uh, with all the different cycles going on. So you've got to learn to ride them and when you need to retreat and withdraw and to build up your energy and to recenter yourself, then that is when you withdraw. And when you need to be out there busy doing things, nurturing and helping others and being concerned with your family or just enjoying nurturing your family, then that is when you are out there. But you need to put time aside for yourself or for your interests or for your own financial situation, whatever it may be, however it applies to you. There's some independence which is required and this is going to be a foundation for you. It could be your own business. Um, or it could be just time, as I say, to do your own thing within your relationship. So just see how that resonates for you. But the moon is always about cycles of all sorts, feminine wisdom, feminine issues. This, this could just be you tapping into your feminine wisdom um, in order to um, pursue your own independent interests. It can also be your own opinions, you know, differing from your partner in some way or having different ideas and so on. Um, the moon is also about, it's very reflective, very nostalgic in some ways as well. So it could be that you, you could be looking back at going down memory lane for some reason. Um, it's fine to bring the wisdom and the understanding and all of that from the past, but you can't live there. All right. So take what you can from the past, you know, enjoy a little tr trip down memory lane or whatever it may be, but then come back. Um, it can also be to do with, as I say, birthing, and this can be ideas, uh, but it can be physical birthing or things to do with, with the physical body cycles. You could also be, if you're a masculine, you could also be going through different cycles, or you could be tapping into your feminine energy, which is the receptive energy. It's the nurturing and the creative energy. Um, all of these aspects uh, come in as well. You may also be intuiting certain things because the moon is very strong with intuition and instinct. So you could be going by instinct. You could be using your intuition very strong or your intuition is heightened at this time because of the moon which is emotional this is your emotional body your emotional self is where your moon is um, it's also go it's also where you go to relax and have time uh, to enjoy yourself and just um, you know recenter yourself and to nourish yourself so I do feel that this is saying um, in some aspect that you do need to nourish yourself, you do need to nurture yourself as well as your family and those around you, your nearest and dearest, but you also do need to, need to nurture yourself and this is why this independence is coming up. It's saying that you know, there are aspects of your life where you need to have your own time. It could also, the moon also does bring in crowds in some ways and it does also, it can also bring in fame. Um, so, and so it could, there may be some sort of journeys um, associated with this as well. So just um, take it as it resonates for you. But it's a very emotional energy, very um, intuitive and instinctive energy. Now for your person, Grand Trine Blessings. So they're in a good space at the moment. They've also got Mary Magdalene Unconditional Love. So uh, love yourself, others and every situation, no matter what the outward appearances may be. So... Um, this is this is a message for them. They could be, this could be for you, um, the way they are looking at you, um, or it is the way they are viewing their situation in general. Unconditional love is giving love without expectation. All right. So take that um, uh, in context for your person. They may have conditions around that. Maybe they have 
you know, um, conditions around um, the love that they offer. Or maybe they have learned that from their parents or from their conditioning or from their programming. Or they may be just learning um, this lesson in themselves in some way, shape or form. This Grand Trime uh, Blessings energy is a very, um, very nice energy to be coming in. It indicates a lot of flow. So they have probably more than likely been through some sort of difficulty or have been through a difficult period um, in their life. Uh, it's, uh, you know, probably quite recently. Um, and, um, the, and it's saying that this period is now coming to an end. Um, so whatever difficulties, hurdles, blocks, um, inhibitions even, um, this not being able to love unconditionally could have been a block. All right. So just see, see how it resonates. But this is saying that this these blocks and um, issues or problems or difficulties or hurdles that they've had will be removed or lifted away. And uh, then there will be a better flow. This is a beautiful flow of energy. So it's harmony, it's contentment, it's um, feeling, you know, in a very good space, lots of flow, lots of energy moving forward now. There's movement forward. There's no blocks and, and, and stressful times that has been lifted away or will shortly be lifted away. Um, and it's saying that there, it can also be completion. Um, in some ways, or closure in some ways. So take that as it resonates. It's either applying to your relationship or it could be closure or completion of a project or something which has been difficult for them. Difficult for them to learn or grasp or overcome or get through. Um, and it's saying that the blocks are being removed um, and there's also unconditional love coming in. So they may have been through a difficult situation, however it is, and it's saying love yourself. So they must learn to do this. Um, others and every situation, no matter what the outward appearances may be. Okay, so this is a this is a big lesson for everybody to learn. It's not specific to your person, but it's something that all of us have to grasp at some point. But it's giving love without expecting anything in return. That is the basis of unconditional love. Now we've got here um, Mother Mary. Um, Expect a miracle. So I feel that something is coming in to do with that. It could also apply later on here as well. Um, so Mother Mary, expect a miracle. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. All right. So there's some some aspect of their life coming in. And it could also be you have sent up a prayer to do with your situation. Possibly you have a query or you have something that you're working on. So one or either of you, or could be both of you within the relationship, have prayers that you um, have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. So expect a miracle. It may not look exactly like what you asked or what you expected, um, but it's it's going to come to you in some way which is going to help you. So let the universe design this miracle for you perfectly for you and your situation or for your person or however it resonates. Now we've got here, um, we've also got have faith in your dreams coming up. So have faith in your dreams. This is the bottom of the moonology, waxing crescent moon. So this is about, um, this is this is um, heading towards the full moon. So this is the build up of energy. It's like, it's like um, an energy or a dream or something that you're working on. It could even be you if you are birthing or if you are conceiving and now you're going towards birthing or you are birthing an idea or it could be the relationship. Perhaps you're, you're coming together now more formally, however it applies. But this is heading towards the full moon, which is the result um, or to a culmination or to a you know, some sort of um, something is about to come to a head of some sort. So take it as it resonates. Have faith in your dreams. This is about um, standing firm in what it is that you're, you're working your way towards. Having faith that what you have asked for, what you've requested of heaven, um, is being answered for you in the best, very best way possible. Let heaven design this for you. Don't have an expectation of how it should look or how it should be unfolding for you or when, you know, dates. Um, just let heaven take care of that. So have faith in your dreams. Um, this is the building up of energy. It's 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 the gaining momentum now. So just hold hold fast to your your vision of the future or whatever it is that you're working towards. Now we've got here um, for the current situation. So this is right at this time, Ishtar boundaries, and we've got Black Moon Lilith. Okay, so this is tying in somewhat to this, and I feel it's mostly for you. So it's saying that there are some boundaries that are required here. Now, these can be boundaries within the relationship, which is going to give you this independence. Now, this, as I said, needn't be um, 
uh, you don't have to do it in a in a in a sort of uh, a, a way that which is going to be hard for your other per, your person to swallow. You can maintain your independence in certain ways, and this can be independence of thought. It can be independence of opinion, um, independence of ideas outside of your relationship. But it can also be to do with your other affairs. It could be financial. Uh, it could be that you own property or whatever it be, or it could just be allocating time for yourself to do your own, and make sure that you follow up on your own interests and whatever it is that you're doing. So there's some sort of boundary check that is required. So love yourself enough to say no to others' demands on your time and energy. But it could also be um, family, family related. Maybe there are a few boundaries that need to be put in place there. Um, just do a boundary check. Um, and make sure that you are allocating time where it's needed, especially for yourself and for your health and your well-being and for your personal emotional well-being. All right. That is what the moon is indicating. It's your personal emotional well-being. Make sure that you are spending time on your own or in your own space or doing your own creative activities. It could be cooking. It could be handcrafts, whatever it is, which is right, rich, rich in um, in, in happiness for you, whatever brings you happiness, your joy, you know, whatever it may be. So there's a, a couple of boundary checks that need to be made. In some cases, it can be that you need to do a boundary check and remove boundaries that are no longer applicable. So because your person is actually feeling in quite a good position, is coming into a good position of blessings for them. They could also be coming into their talents and skills and abilities. They could be discovering new talents and skills and abilities at this time. But there may be um, some aspect of, you know, past relationships, hangovers from past relationships. And now you're coming into the relationship with this person. And there may be a few boundaries which you've had in place for a long time, which are now creating inhibitions for you or blocks for you or whatever it may be. So do a boundary check. Make sure that you're not blocking love from coming to you as well. So it's it's got to be brutally honest. You've got to look at your life. You've got to look at where things and how things are unfolding and how your person is, is relating to you and make sure that the boundaries that you have got in place are still worthwhile and still working for you. Um, and if they aren't working for you, then put a few boundaries in or get let go of ones that are not working for you. It can also be with the Black Moon Lilith uh, mystery, there can also be situations going on around your relationship. Okay. And this is where your boundaries may also need to come in. This is external. It's not necessarily within the relationship. So take it as it resonates. Black Moon Lilith mystery can sometimes mean that there are um, a few uh, negative emotions flying around. Um, or they could be like undercurrents going on. Now, these undercurrents can be jealousy, envy, bitterness, uh, feelings of being overlooked. Um, there could even be vengeful behavior with this um, but it's it, it's so it's either you are d grappling with these emotions or your partner is or it's coming at you externally from other people. They may be seeing that finally you're coming into a beautiful relationship with your person, let's say, and they are not um, very happy or they, they're displaying negatively about that. Then you've got to put boundaries in. You've got to put boundaries in to so that they don't drain your energy. So take it as it resonates. It can also be that Black Moon Lilith can sometimes bring fame, can bring sudden fame into your life. Now, you did also have the Moon card, which can also be about crowds and, you know, sort of having a higher profile as well. So it could be that one or either of you is experiencing this and you don't want that to uh, sort of infringe on your relationship. So therefore, boundaries are required again. Take it as it resonates. Uh, Black Moon Lilith is also about standing your ground. Okay, so this is the strong feminine power. It's the the feminine um, the, the 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 witch's wand of power. All right, that power, that strong. It can be dark. It can be a dark power, but it's also a very strong power. When when that woman is standing in her power, there's not much that can shift her. So you may need to do that for external circumstances or within some aspect of your relationship, or it could be family matters, again, boundaries. Um, stand firm on something which you feel is important, okay? And um, so that you are not overlooked or so that you don't become resentful or bitter or angry and so on. There's some issues that need to be aired or some certain certain things that need to be sorted out here. Um, and... Uh, and, and a healthy outlet, uh, but it's keeping control of emotions, keeping control of emotions because something said or done, an action taken from that negative base, whether it's anger or fear or bitterness or whatever it may be, can actually 
ruin something for you. It can ruin either your relationship or it can ruin some other aspect. But it could also be that you are on the receiving end of this. So just see how it um, resonates for you. But there are some boundary checks that are required. And um, this can also indicate sort of clandestine emotions or clandestine affairs as well, or a clandestine affair. Maybe you and your person are in a secret love affair. I don't know. I take it as it resonates for you. But it's a very strong energy. Um, standing on your standing your ground, but also dealing with negative emotions, whether they're within you or they're coming at you from other people. Um, and there's things moving in the background. There's something lurking. There's something that you can't quite see. You can't quite see all the pieces of it with this Black Moon Lilith energy. So that is the current situation. Um, so this is also a why a while I feel you have sincerity here. So you need to have a sincere discussion with your person or with others that may be draining you, or you just may need to, as a couple, put a few boundaries in. Perhaps this is affecting you as a couple. So be sincere with each other, communicate with each other, and work out how this is coming at you and, and what boundaries need to be checked and what boundaries need to be in, put in place. Because your person has got some blessings coming to them. So they're going to be feeling contentment, happiness, um, even bliss in some ways, but they've got blessings coming to them. So I don't feel they are necessarily, um, uh, you know, causing the issue here. They may, it may be within you or it could be externally, but just see how it resonates. But be sincere in your interactions with your person and with your other people. Be sincere and, and work it out what needs to be done. So now for, from, a, from a, an advice sort of section and a relationship section, um, we've got uh, Mawu Mother Earth, this is about grounding, and we've got Seventh House, which is the house of partners, the house of relationships, okay? So it's also the lower courts come in here. So <clears throat> this may just be indicating to you that you do need to ground yourself um, going forward, um, because there may be issues as unfolding in the Seventh House. Now this could be things that you're hearing or seeing, this is why you've got this Black Moon Lilith. There's something moving in the background, you're not quite sure what it is, or what it, what it means, um, and you're just trying to work it out, um, but just be careful that you keep your emotions under control and you don't come from a place of anger or fear or bitterness or whatever. So ground yourself in this relationship because your relationship is important. All right. So this is it's a, a highlight and grounding yourself can be spending time in nature. It can be doing grounding activities like meditations, which are grounding, it can also be spending time um, in the garden, gardening with plants, whatever it is. Um, but spending time in nature, but it can also be um, helping with other types of things uh, in your environment, like a cause. Now, this could be very important for you. This could be something which is important to you. This is why you have the independence here and why you have a boundary. This, this, you could be involved in some environmental activity, or you could be um, spend wanting to spend more time on certain issues related to that, or within nature, um, and um, you don't want that aspect of your life to be. Um, sort of edged out of, of the relationship. You want to maintain your interests and what it is that you enjoy and what is of importance to you. And this could very well involve environmentalism of some sort. It can also indicate that um, there's some sort of um, toxicity within your relationship or around your relationship which needs to be cleared. This is why you have the sincerity action here. You are called upon to help with environmentalism. So I said that may be an interest of yours. It may be a personal interest of yours, or it could be a, something you both are interested in. But it, I do feel it's about grounding and it's about getting rid of things out of your environment or upcycling or removing um, things from your environment which are building up uh, toxicity. And this could be environmentally. It could be within the place you're staying. It could be in the grounds that you're living in or the house or the, um, you know, the, aspects of how you run your home. It could be your chemicals that you use to clean with. They're not environmentally friendly. It's causing toxicity. It could be leading to allergies. You, you, there's lots of ways and means that this can be coming out. But grounding is going to be important. Spend time in nature. Do grounding meditations because it's your, the relationship is a focus in some way. And you don't want to be flighty or going off at a tangent because you've suspected something and it may not be true. You know. So just see how this um, resonates for you. It says here nothing will come of the situation void of course moon. So there is some pause and reflect energy coming in here. So I do feel it's to do with this uh, black moon lilith and the boundaries. There's some sort of reflection. Um, this is saying don't take action while this energy is in, in play. 
all right? Um, so you may want to initiate something in the relationship. It may not be the right time to do that. Or you may want to get the truth of something. Or you may want to investigate something. Or you may want to just initiate some big action or, or promote something within the relationship. And it's just saying there's, this is a time for pause, planning, dreaming. Um, it could even be, a, uh, you know, coming together in a marriage or a, some sort of commitment for each other. Or it could be something to do with um, extending your family or family issues in some way. And it's saying that just take a pause period uh, while this energy is in play because the moon is in shadow and you don't have all the facts. Things are not how they seem with this energy. So that's why I'm saying that this black moon Lilith could be suspicion or it could be resentment about something and it's maybe completely unfounded. All right. So nothing will come of the situation. So it's either something that you're worrying about and nothing's going to come of it. Um, but it's also saying don't put energy into something that you want to, you, you don't want to manifest. All right. Because it's a good, strong possibility that it will. So rather just pull back, spend this time dreaming, planning and um, and using this energy to reflect and um, to have a look at a situation and wait until the energy has passed, until the moon has moved into a into the next sign, because this is between signs. So it goes through a quiet shadow period. All right. So um, something you may be concerned about may not come to anything at all. Um, but it could also be that um, something that you want to initiate, some big action that you want to take. Um, it's not the right time for to do that because you may not you may not get a good result or you may get no result at all from what it is that you're trying to launch or initiate. So bear that in mind. Then for the um, for the situation, sort of the, the outcome and the um, potential of your current situation, you've got um, solar eclipse revolution and you've got bright future. So this is saying um, there's going to be some sort of shift or change coming in for you. It could be a complete 180 degree. So this is a complete change of direction um, or it could be a complete change of attitude or perception um, or it could be um, so some, some complete rearrangement. So this can be like relocation, so moving house. It can also be a job change or a profession change or it can be a relationship change. All right. So take it as it resonates for your situation. Some of you may be coming together with somebody. Some of you may be separating. I, I really can't say for certain, although your person is in a good place and they're happy and they're content. OK, so see how it resonates for you. But um, um, you've, you've got a bright future coming for you. So if you're in a t together in a relationship, you are going to go through some kind of change and there's a bright future coming in for you. But if you are changing some aspect of your relationship, you've still got a bright future. So take it as it resonates. So revolution, this is a complete change of direction in some way, shape or form. So this could be you going in a new direction or you as a relationship or your person going in a new direction, which is going to be beneficial for your relationship or for both of you or one or either of you. It's going to be beneficial because you've got bright future. So some sort of change. It can also be that one or either of you or both of you need to dive in and fix change or create something within the relationship or within your current situation. There's some sort of change. And on the other side of that, you're going to make something much better out of it. OK, or a situation could arise which is going to force you into the present moment. And then you've got to face whatever it is and deal with it and move on. So it, as I said, it could be a relocation, change in relationship or it could be um, a, a job change, a profession change, which affects your relationship ultimately as well. But there's a bright future in here. It's also self-mastery. This is self-mastery of any kind of emotional things coming at you. When you got change, when a change come, big change comes into your life, it's how you're going to handle that change. It's your attitude, your perception, welcoming the change, being open to it, being open to the change and doing every, everything you can to move smoothly through the change. Um, that is about being open and receptive to the change so that you can um, you can move through it um, smoothly. If you res if you dig your heels in and you resist the change, then it can be a little bit difficult. You may be going out of your comfort zone uh, and feeling a little bit uncomfortable during the transition. But ultimately, whatever it is, I feel it's self mastery. This is what your potential is in this in this situation. And you've got a bright future. So stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. So as I said, I do feel I do do feel that you have been worrying about something, and this is why you've got nothing will come of the situation. All right, don't put energy into worry because that's what's going to you. The thing you're worrying about is what you're going to draw towards you. 
And this is why Void of Course Moon is saying just don't initiate big things or don't put energy into what you do not want. All right. Don't put energy into what you do not want. So stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. This is the outcome, the potential. So with this, um, this very, um, very strong, very progressive energy that you've got here, this mastery of your situation, mastery of your emotions, mastery of your relationship or whatever it may be, bright future, very abundant energy, this. Okay. Very abundant energy. And as I said, your person is going to have this abundant energy as well. There's blessings coming in for them. So, um, this could be financial, but it can also be abundance in many forms. This can be material things. This can be a move or a relocation, which turns out to be really abundant. It could be a change of home, as I say. So whatever it is, but there's a bright future coming in. So do not worry. It will be fine. We've also got here, um, be bold and make the first move. So this is a cardinal action. So once you've been through this dreaming and planning phase, once that moves off, then you can take action, all right? Because you've done the planning, you've done the dreaming, you've taken a rest, you've taken a break, you've recovered from certain things. It's a reflective period, that, all right? Then be bold and make the first move. This is cardinal. This is cardinal action. This is initiating, moving forward. Um, because you've got a big change of direction coming in here, there's some sort of change. 44 may be a, a, appropriate for you. Fours, all fours are normally stability coming. OK, some sort of stability is on its way to you. So I do feel that is coming in and it's to do with a change or a relocation or just a change in direction or it's mastery, mastery of whatever came up under this energy. It's that you've got it. You've got it sussed and that you you sorted out with it. Um, and it, this is opening the doors for you to be bold and make the first move. So whether this is connection to, to the relationship or to connecting to some other aspect like moving or relocating and now you're shifting your whole family situation whatever it may be. Um, we've also got um, another very positive card, North Node Life's Purpose. So um, I do feel that with this um, solar eclipse um, energy and the bright future, that is what's coming in for you. This is being reflected with the North Node. So North Node is always about um, the door to your future, uh, what you've come here in your lifetime. This is kind of what you're aiming for in this lifetime. So whether it's with your person or with you personally, or, uh, you know, whether it's the relationship, now you're, you're, you're in forward motion. Um, for some of you, some of you may have been knocking at this door for quite a long time. And now finally, here it is. This is your life's purpose. It's connected to what has gone on here. Um, and the solar eclipse is obviously going to trigger that. Um, but a door is going to open of some sort, all right? So whether it's you're coming together in a relationship, you're getting married or whatever it may be, or it could be that you are establishing some other aspect of this relationship, however it applies to you. Um, but a big door is opening and this is about um, right place, right time. So there's timing involved here, um, which was also mentioned um, as well. You know, it's mentioned here. So um, this is right place, right time, a big door opening to your life's purpose. This is fate. This is destiny. All of those things. And um, it's very positive. It's also the return of positive karma. So karma from a previous life is coming back, which is going to be very beneficial. It could be affecting your person because they've got blessings coming in. Grand trine. That's flow. That's blocks being removed. All right. And um, this is forward movement. And this is getting on purpose or getting on mission. Um, if you are with a soulmate, then... This is about being important. It's an important um, aspect of that. It could be that you have conquered something and um, in the relationship and now you're going to be reaping the benefits. As I said, it could also be positive karma from a past life or past lives with your person. Now it's coming back to you. It can also be the return of people from your, like your soul tribe. So these are people, these are soulmates or soul tribe people. Now, whether this is your partner coming into your life um, or whether this is other people that are coming around you to, to assist you in some way, shape or form. Um, these could be friends, family members, uh, people that you meet that assist you with certain things. It could be career related. Who knows? But uh, apply it as it resonates to you. But it is a very, very positive card. Um, it's about moving forward um, into the future and to getting on track with w what it is that you came here to do. or what, what it is that you've been working on in this lifetime. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, please don't forget to like and share or like and subscribe and have a wonderful month and I will see you next time.